find my skull and get my revenge. And I will. Oh, I will. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is HGJ Halloween, and today I am back with another super exciting video because today Spirit Halloween released another sneak peek. Now before we get started on today's sneak peek, I know that I did skip the roaming remote control spider. If you guys do want to know my thoughts on him because I'm not going to be releasing any video of him just because I really didn't have time yesterday and also I just didn't feel like there was that much to say about him, I did leave all of my thoughts in a comment on my Hugs the Clown video and pinned that at the top. I also have a post on Instagram. If you could follow me over there or just check out that post, uh, you can see all of my thoughts on the roaming spider. And guys, I have some pretty exciting news. So today I actually had my interview for my job at my local Spirit Halloween and I did get the job. So I will be working at my local Spirit Halloween this year. I'm definitely super excited to be a part of the team setting up, uh, helping out throughout the entire season. And I really like all of the people involved as well. I think it's going to be a super fun thing to be a part of. And I can't wait to do that along with doing my own haunted house. So I think it's going to make this Halloween season a memorable one for me because I've always wanted to work at the Spirit Halloween store. It's also going to make it a little bit more difficult though when I am uh, working on my haunted house in October and also have school. Everything gets a bit hectic. So one thing uh, I will be doing guys is a lot more build videos throughout the rest of the summer. I have some build videos are already planned because I do need to get a little bit more done over the summer than I did last year so I can be more prepared. I'm going to have harder classes in school as well as the job now. So I'm definitely going to have to have everything started a little bit early than last year. And I'm not going to make any promises, but there is a chance that I will be able to release some behind the scenes video kind of things after uh, all of the stuff has been revealed and the themes have been revealed and the stores begin to open. So I won't be able to do what I normally do where I have those videos like Spirit Halloween is setting up and I take pictures through the window because now I'll actually be working on the inside. So I can't really release anything for you guys. So that is one thing that you're uh, not going to be able to see this season, but I think it's going to be made up for if I'm able to get pictures while we're setting up and then release those in videos later once everything is released. I think you guys will really enjoy seeing some behind the scenes stuff. So I know that was a longer ramble, but I did have a lot to tell you guys about because I'm super excited about starting my job at Spirit Halloween. I think I start work, you know, in a couple of weeks, beginning of August, we'll start setting up the store. So I just cannot wait for all of that. But today's video is on Lost Her Way. So this animatronic is like a life-sized roaming. I'm always pr a pretty big fan of the roaming animatronics. I especially like roaming Rosie. But this girl is a bit different because she's four and a half feet tall, so she's not super super tall, but obviously taller than a majority of the roaming props. I feel like we have had a life-size roaming once before. We had like a zombie from, um, what is that? Oh, The Walking Dead. I feel like we had a zombie from The Walking Dead a while ago that was like a life-size, but we definitely haven't had any sort of life-sized roaming in quite some time. So this is a bit of a new uh, type of prop that we haven't seen in a long time. And I'm definitely a big fan of how it looks. Obviously, the head was cut off. Now, that's the one thing I do kind of wish that it had a head just because I would have kind of liked to have seen some type of design with a face or something like that, maybe even look like a roaming ghost or just a roaming zombie girl that maybe like looks like she got out of bed real late it's trying to um you know figure out where she's going obviously she's lost her way I do like the fact that it's holding like a candle um and I'm gonna show you guys some of the phrases that this girl has because it almost like she has a storyline of how like she lost her head and she has lost her way now because she can't see and stuff so I'm gonna throw up the phrases right now so you can see she does have a lot of phrases. She actually has six of them. So that's more than a majority of props that we see in general uh, and definitely more than any of the roamings that we've had recently because those I believe have all just had one phrase. So the one that we heard in the video was I dragged myself out of the tomb to find my skull and get my revenge and I will, oh, I will. And then she weeps. You can hear the weeping a bit better in the product video on Spirit Halloween's website because it doesn't cut it off. That's kind of the 
fa- my favorite part of the audio is just the the little girl weeping noises. I think those are always like super creepy, eerie kinds of sounds when they start weeping. Um, I also liked that aspect of Broken Spine Girl when she would weep at the end. I don't know, there's just something about that that I think adds a nice touch to the audio. But um, a lot of people do have a complaint on just the way that the voice sounds, that it doesn't really fit her. Honestly, I don't know what would fit her because her head is chopped off, so you don't really even see who she is. It's just more of some clothing. Um, and it's four and a half feet tall, so it's a little girl. So I feel like the voice does sort of fit it. Maybe it sounds a little bit cheesy. I'm not a huge fan of that one phrase that we heard, but here's some of the other phrases. This is my fate in a world of the living forever, never to sleep, never to find peace. That one is not not exactly sure what it's getting at there but it's definitely kind of adding to her storyline here her lore as I keep going on you'll see can you help me I can't see then she weeps she also weeps after every single one so that's kind of interesting she does have that weep in all of them which I do like so that one is a little bit more generic doesn't really add too much to what's going on here but then she says I am surrounded by death and pain and darkness wherever I go is the wrong direction as in lost her way am I never to be whole again that's some deep stuff right there not exactly sure what that means is anyone there hello is anyone there she weeps twice in that one because she's really upset and then this is the one that really like adds to her storyline of why she is how she is right now which is kind of interesting they were witch hunters they tried to kill me but failed so they chopped off my head and took it but i cannot see nor hear now the funny thing to me is that they tried to kill me but couldn't yet her head is chopped off so she definitely should be dead i guess she kind of rose from the dead like she said in the first one she's trying to find her skull uh so it's been a while since she died because her head is now just a skull apparently and um also she says i cannot see nor hear which is interesting because she lost her head but then she also can speak so i just thought some of that was kind of funny it definitely has some cheesy phrases but i think that this is a super cool prop to have just kind of going on you know outside of your house on your driveway maybe inside a haunted house it might get kind of bumped around a bit but even if you don't really hear exactly what it's saying i think that the sound of the little girl little girl voice along with those weeps and just this roaming headless figure is definitely a creepy touch to any haunted display and like i said i do like the look of her in general other than the fact that i would have liked to have seen a head with hair and a design with a face i feel like i would have preferred that you know at least it kind of brings the price down and if we just go with the fact that she has lost her head she does look good overall she has this off white dirty nightgown type of thing and then her hands as well are very gray cold sort of undead looking hands like she's not very alive right now obviously because her head was chopped off but then she's also holding a little tray with a candle in it and I definitely like that aspect because it it kind of shows that she's probably out at night trying to find her way around even though it doesn't really matter what time of day it is because her head is cut off but she'll look really cool um, in a dark setting and I believe that candle lights up as well so that's just really a creepy feature that i definitely love and then obviously there's a lot of details of blood added in to where her her head would have been chopped off So right now, Lost Her Way is going for $130 on Spirit Halloween's website, which I think is probably one of the fairest prices that we've seen yet. Obviously, I've said many, many times that Spirit Halloween seems to be increasing their prices in general, and uh, pretty much all of them this year have seemed at least slightly overpriced, but this one definitely does not. This one seems to be a completely fair price, considering that the other roaming antique dolls cost $80 on the website. This one is $130 because it's four and a half feet tall, much taller than them uh, I believe that it is a fair price I think it's fully worth the money that you're spending what's funny to me is that it costs the exact same as a remote control two-foot spider I don't understand how that makes any sense but at least this girl is 100% worth it So guys, that's about all I have to say for the four and a half foot Lost Her Way roaming animatronic. I'm definitely super impressed with this release. I don't know for sure if I'll be getting her or not. I feel like there's a good chance that I will just because I think I kind of have a spot for her. I probably am going to get sucked into buying her, especially because she is uh, so affordable, which is great. And uh, once I see her in person, I think I'm probably going to like her even more. I definitely recommend her for those of you that just want to throw, you know, one or two animatronics up to make your house a little 
bit more creepy for Halloween, I think this would be one to go for because it's so affordable, especially compared to a lot of them this year. And it would be kind of cool to just have this headless girl roaming around the front of your house on Halloween. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you would like to pre-order Lost Her Way or get anything else on Spirit Halloween's website, you can use my Spirit Halloween affiliate link in the description. If you would like to help out the channel at no extra cost to you, I will also be providing you guys a discount promo code that you can use at anything for anything on the website and a link to follow me on Instagram will be in the description as well. Guys, I will see you in the next video.